perfect timing. I've picked up a reading on a new artifact. Ready for your next assignment? The reading I'm getting from the next artifact is a weak one. Mind if I come with you? All right, but are you sure? Don't worry, it'll be fine. Come on now, let's head in. of Granorg? Seems like it. Which reminds me, Stock. How much do you know about this country's history? Only as much as necessary for my job. Then allow me to enlighten you. Knowledge is power, after all. The Kingdom of Granorg was founded about 150 years ago. The surprise is, who founded it? His name was Allium, the last prince of the Fallen Empire. Then again, anyone who's done their research would know that, so it's not really a surprise. Nevertheless, Prince Allium was... <sighs> oh, I'm sorry. Got carried away. Let's save the history lesson for another time, shall we? Let's. Now then, do you have an idea of where the artifact is? My prism has yet to react. Let's see. Beyond that door, I think? But the signal's weak. And something is odd about it. That's the tavern. Come, let's take a look inside. Okay. Want to buy something? You're in luck. Oh, may I take a look at it? Yeah. Wanna buy something? Thanks, but we'll pass for now. How could you dismiss it so easily? That one was a big no-no. My reading picked it up, but it's only a chain. Prolonged exposure to an artifact must have transferred some of its power. That would explain why there was only a faint reaction. And by that logic, I'd expect the locket which belongs to that chain is our artifact. I might have some insight into that. I read about it in some dusty old tome or another. According to the records, the locket could be opened up to hide important objects inside. Hmm. So the artifact may actually be housed inside the locket. That's right. I also have a hunch on where to find it. Hey, stop. Is there any way we could get beneath the palace? The underground waterway should work, but we'll have to be cautious down there. An underground waterway? Even I've never read about that. This should be a good learning opportunity then. Let's go. is right this way. First the locket, now this underground library. You know quite a bit about this place. It's all thanks to my extensive research into Granorg's history. The palace's construction is a fascinating topic of study. That aside, it was a good idea to bring me along, wasn't it? Seems it was. In any case, we should continue onward. Are you sure this is the place? According to my research, the prince and princess of the Empire used to exchange secret notes hidden inside a locket. No matter where they were, they always exchanged their messages inside a library. <laughs> That's what I read anyway. Since this is the only library in Granorg, it should be here. It's incredible how thorough your research is, Nemesia. <laughs> Historians are nothing if not curious. Secrets of the past are what make us tick. Good to know. Anyway, let's split up and search for that locket. No need for that. 
I have an idea of where it's hidden as well. It's not here. But why? Third row down from the top on the far right. It was always here. Perhaps it's been moved. That would explain why the prism isn't reacting. But where else could it be? There's a chance something in the original history changed where the locket is in this one. doing <laughs> enough excuses just put it back and get out of here <laughs> should be where it belongs over in the other world. That reminds me. Nemesius said you can put stuff inside. Maybe I'll take a look. Well, that opened easily. Now then, let's see what's in here. Hmm? A note. Nemesia did say the prince and princess used to use this to exchange messages. It's written in ancient script, though. Maybe Nemesia can help me translate it later. Are you sure this is the place? According to my research, the prince and princess of the Empire used to exchange secret notes hidden inside a locket. No matter where they were, they always exchanged their messages inside a library. <laughs> That's what I read anyway. Since this is the only library in Granorg, it should be here. It's incredible how thorough your research is, Nemesia. <laughs> Historians are nothing if not curious. Secrets of the past are what make us tick. Good to know. Anyway, let's split up and search for that locket. No need for that. I have an idea of where it's hidden as well. Eureka! One moment while I open it up. Any sign of the artifact? Bingo! And there's a note inside. What does it say? I'll try reading it. Can you hold on to this for me? <sighs> In this note is written Prince Allium's farewell to his sister, whom he'd never see again. It explains how their home, the Empire, fell into ruin when it was drained of all mana, and how Prince Allium had no choice but to leave his home behind to found Granor. It ends with a promise to make things right. So that's how he became the first king of Granark, huh? The prince vowed to his sister that he'd save the continent, even if it cost him his life. Even his life? How grim. Whether he found such a solution is one of history's mysteries. Still, I wonder why the artifact was hidden inside this locket. Perhaps the prince thought it would prove useful to someone, and he wasn't wrong. Now that it's come into our possession. Yeah, you're right. And we're back. 
Things didn't go smoothly, but I still had fun. As did I. Oh, I should give you this. A plus memory stock. Thank you. Let's put on our thinking caps and find some artifacts. Ready for your next assignment? This time, you're taking a trip to the Grand Plain. Alistil and Granork are both marching their armies there. I'm getting an artifact reading from the battlefield. Sounds serious. Well, be careful on your way. You know, I heard that Fennel has gone out on the battlefield himself this time. Whoa, really? Why? I don't know the details, but a number of thaw machines have been deployed. Might be related. We have an emergency! What? That's pretty bad, isn't it? Come. We should go look into this firsthand. Enough! What a mess. We haven't even touched Granorg yet. What should we do, Stock? Fennel is the one who knows all about these thaw machines. If anyone can fix this problem, it's him. We should hurry. We need to talk. If you can't get your Thal machines under control, we'll be... Hey, uh... Doesn't this guy sound kind of busted? Sure seems like it. That was nothing but strange noises. Wait, did he go berserk like those Thal machines? He has a mechanical body, too. Oh. What now? Why don't we smack him? That's how I always fix stuff. Hmm. Considering his body, maybe there's an emergency shutdown switch somewhere. Fennel, I need you to listen to me. Where on your body is the emergency shutdown? Fennel, can I bother you for a second? I'm interested in the mechanization of your body. What do you do if it malfunctions? Does it malfunction? It's possible, but rare. Always perform regular maintenance, and it won't be a problem. But, hypothetically speaking, what happens if the machine starts acting up? Well, were that the case, I would need to perform a reboot. And how do you do that? Huh, I can't just tell you that. It's highly classified information. If you want to know that badly, I'll give you a body like mine. 
Then you can see for yourself. Um, I think I'll have to decline that offer. Anyway, sorry to have taken your time. Yes. Indeed. That would be much appreciated. Indeed. In the event of an emergency, I placed a certain something in the medical office. I can't just leave it lying around. So I've hidden it with Thaumatech. It'd be absolutely impossible for a petty thief to find. Magnificent means of protecting confidential material, wouldn't you say? about? Hmm. There's something written on this paper. said to access a panel on the back of his head to reboot. Ah, here it is. All I need to do now is enter the right code. I think it's... That should do the trick. Control of myself was troubling, to say the least. What was it that caused you to go haywire? Well, I attempted to integrate this mystical object into my operating system. I believed it would allow me to control multiple thaw machines at the same time. Uh, but it appears that was a miscalculation. You could have killed someone, you know. Here, I'll be holding on to that from now on. <laughs> I'm done with it anyway. Yeah. Perhaps if I scale down that sensation, I may effectively use the thaw machines to do my bidding. Off he goes, mumbling to himself. Is he going to experiment again with what he's learned today? Jeez. All that trouble and he hasn't changed a bit. Well, the thought machines seem to have calmed down, so at least this case is closed. Mark and I should go see if anyone's hurt. You okay with that, Stock? Of course. Welcome aboard, Stock. I trust you've got something for me? I do. Here you go. A plus. Thank you, Stock. 